right to the body by Dillashaw. Big head kick. And man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, straight right. That would land it clean. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Good stick. Dillashaw gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Ninety seconds to go. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice straight right, Lance. Oh, nice right hand. And there's another straight. It's there by Dillashaw. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Punch over the top. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Dillashaw. The I horn sounds round for round. the end of round one. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round, round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good enough. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented players, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. 76 total strikes and counting have landed for the great TJ Dillashaw. And landing with 46% accuracy tonight against the Brazilian Davison Figueroa. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Beautiful body punch lands right on the elbow. Oh, and now the hit is in a great position now to go out there. He did a great job of stepping all the way across to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. Absolutely relentless when it comes to the ground and pound. Now working the body. Nice job by Dillashaw. Lands with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the game. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got yeah, it looks a little rougher than last week. 